Alright guys, so we are back for another weekly Grind Wednesdays, where we go over all the events on both the global side and the JP side on top of the banners that are currently available, and when they're going to be ending. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, um, shout out to the Reddit. Uh, you know, always go over here, make sure you join the Reddit, because this is the best community that you could go to for Dokkan Battle information. Um, this is where I get all my information firsthand, either that or the Twitter, but the Twitter usually, you know, it goes hand in hand with uh, with uh, everyone who is available on the Reddit anyway. Um, so go there, and you can also join me over at the Multiverse on uh, Facebook. So you go over there and check out the Dokkan Battle Multiverse, and you can join over there and, uh, you know, interact with us over on Facebook. Um, Real quick, best free-to-play team ever. Um, it's going to be the tech team with a Krillin. Well, technically, you would want a double Krillin leave, uh, lead. Uh, and you can run it with all of these units over here. All these are free-to-play grindable. If you haven't gotten the LR uh, Goku as of yet, make sure you go ahead and do that. It's a pain in the butt to uh, do that grind for Super Attack 20 with all the dupe has unlocked, but it's worth it in the end. He's a really good free-to-play card if you're a free-to-play player. LR Hercule, obviously... Uh, this Goku who Dokken awakens like six times, <laughs> uh, the Bulma, which the event is currently gone, uh, if you're lucky enough to grind that out, and then the new Vegito, Candy Vegito, freaking so badass, such an awesome character, he dodges everything, and then obviously the 120 tech lead. Anyway guys, that is that, so that's freaking pretty damn awesome, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the weekly grind, first off, global side. Uh, the new Majin event, I know I did a whole bunch of content on this already. Uh, this is currently out. It's running to 11.15. You have about two weeks to grind it out, guys. Uh, so go ahead, get that Vegito, that Candy Vegito, up to Super Attack 10. Get all four dupe pads unlocked. I'm not telling you that you should invest orbs in them. But if you were here for the events over the summer, it might be worth it for you. Me, personally, I'm going to hold off just to see um, you know, if I get any good tech units in the future. Because I have enough to probably maximize two other units. And uh, there are some units that I, I might uh, consider pulling for. Uh, but yeah, that's that's available now. It's available as of last night, actually. Uh, so go ahead, grind it out while you still can. This event, Legendary Super Saiyan, this is with the one Broly event. This is where you can Doken Wake in the Gohan, the Goku, and the Goten, the three of them, the Super Saiyan variants. Uh, it, that, that's about it. Um, you can go and also grind out Videl's. So if you have any SSR Videl cards, like the Waifu Videl from the Valentine's banner, you can go grind her out with the STR, um, SSR variant of her. And this, you know, this is a garbage trunk, so I'm not going to tell you to do anything with him. You can grind him up if you want him for a free-to-play. You don't need to, though. Um, just something that th that's there. All the medals are available on Stage 6, so go ahead and get those. That way you can get these guys, Doken Awaken. Um, and you also get a support item, which is all enemies attack and defense minus 30% for two turns, which is pretty useful, especially on the Broly event. Uh, nothing that I would recommend worth, you know, grinding your butt off for them, but, you know, so some events it might be worth it for you. Um, next one would be Super Warrior, Warrior Slam. That's the Bio Broly event. Go ahead there. You can farm Krillins. They drop as Awakened SSRs or Awakened, you know, Awakened from SR to SSR. You can feed them into any Krillin, especially the Tech uh, Krillin if you have it. I, I haven't done any of that grind yet. I'm probably going to do that grind tomorrow because it's supposed to be crappy out. Um, I just, I've been grinding Bleach Brave Soul, so I haven't grinded too much on Doken. Just the basic uh, mission rewards. Uh, Bio Broly is also here. I wouldn't recommend 100%. You know, to, I mean, you can 100% him if you want in the dupe system, but I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting up Super Tech 10 with all dupe pads unlocked and then Doken Awakening him because he will be decent on a free to play tech team. If you guys are going for the LR Goku or LR Freezer grind, it'll be worth it. Plus, you know, it's just cool to have, add to your roster as someone who you might want to uh, consider bringing. Uh, this also, you get the Doken Awakening medals for Android 18. The Agility Goten Medals and the Physical Trunks Medals. The Physical Trunks probably, I'm still in my opinion, one of the best Super Saiyan Trunks is in-game, at least as a kid. Um, so you go ahead and grind that out. Plus, I think you could also grind out Zenny from Stage 1 with all the Hercule statues. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, that's that event. The next one we're going to talk about is the Go Forth Hero of Justice Begins. This is great for farming um, Dragonstone. Uh, this STR Go, uh, Gohan, the one he Doken Awakens into a Great Saiyan Man, he does greatly lower attack, so that's pretty cool if you were trying to build that type of a team to greatly lower the attack of the opponent. Um, that might make it a little bit more viable for you to take on an event that is a tactic that you can use against uh, events that only have one boss most of the time. Uh, that would just keep them attacking at a low level and use some damage reduction agents, uh, so that way you know it helps you out. Um, he, Doken Awakens, into Great Saiyan Man, the Agility Gohan, Doken Awakens to Great Saiyan Man. Great Saiyan Man kind of still sucks, it's the Agility kind, but whatever. Um, my waifu, Videl, Doken Awakens into her Great Saiyan Man 2 forms, which is cool. Um, she's, again, she kind of sucks also, though, as a card. Uh, but you have a whole bunch of stages over here that you can grind, and that Gohan is available on almost all of them. But, uh, that's that event. The next one, oh yeah, let's see, what the, when does this one end? I forgot. 
Uh, this one ends on 11.05, so you only have four days left to grind that out. And for this one, it ends on 11.08. So the, the Bio Broly event ends on 11.08, and this one ends on 11.05. Sorry, I forgot to tell you the end date. Um, Warrior Turn from the Other World, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku event. That ends today. Today's the last day you can go ahead, well, at least while it's going to be available daily. It's going to be available on the Tech Banner every day. Um, and I think it should be available on the Agility, so it should be available two times a week. Um, because I believe it is... Oh, no, you know what? It's not available on the Agility, because the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a different uh, card completely. So it's only available on Tech Days. But this is the last day it's going to be available every day. So go ahead, grind it out. All these Gokus Doken Awaken from the card. Um, this is the Bob Shop one, by the way. I think this one's awesome. I have mine Doken Awaken, because I don't plan on getting buying any more of him. Uh, but yeah, uh, go ahead and Doken Awaken all these badass guys. They're freaking pretty awesome. Same thing with the uh, Mass Saiyan Bardock. Today's the last day his event's going to be around daily. He is Technique also, so he's only going to be around on Technique days. The Legendary Summons banner, we're moving on to Summons now. Um, so that is going to be available for two more weeks. You guys have some time to go ahead and pawn it if you already haven't done so. I have a lot of people hitting me up in my freaking... Uh, comments below uh and on facebook saying that oh, you guys all pulled goku black congratulations i'm really happy for you guys uh unfortunately i have not been able to pull him as of yet um i'm gonna be doing another video for tomorrow maybe i can get him uh i, I don't know we'll see what happens uh I'm, I'm hoping that at some point i can pull goku black that would be awesome to have four out of the five lrs that are 90 percent leaders plus he's just a freaking awesome he's a cool card in terms of who he is though um i really prefer I don't like his passive uh, being attacked to increase his super attack or to increase the damage output, but that's just me. But I do like the fact that he does um, HP regeneration. That's going to be available to 1113. I believe the rate, the average rate is about 0.4 to 0.5% for each LR or like each card on the banner, and there's a lot of them. So he has a higher rate than what he would typically have, which would be like 0 0.045 or something like that. Um, the best courage super warrior clash is the bio broly banner um, three new ssrs you have your three discount summons again i'm not going to tell you that it's worth it it's discount summons so if you like discount summons and if you want any of these characters you also have the physical and agility trunks and goten respectively uh they're pretty awesome cards i'm not going to say it's worth it but majin vegeta actually i think all the lrs are in in this banner um at least lr gohan lr majin vegeta and lr broly um if you guys didn't see my video i pulled an lr majin vegeta on my first multi i got super lucky again don't go hunting lrs do not do that uh, but this banner, hold all of them if you want to try your luck. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that it's worth it, though. If you're trying to save for a specific card, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's just something to get you to spend stones. <laughs> um, same thing with the Doken Festival for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and the Bardock, the one that I just talked about, the other two events. This ends the same time today. Uh, so this is the last day you could pull on this banner with all these units. Again, you can pull on it if you want to. I did a couple multi summons here or there, um, and I already put those up on for you guys to watch. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. Cheap plug, I know. Uh, but... Uh, it, it, it actually kind of sucked. I did one multi summon off camera, and it was literally I have all these bottom units over here, and I literally got all of them. Well, except for um, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, I, didn't, I, I have him. I just needed some more dupes of him. But I literally got all these four on the bottom, and I have them all 100%, and I have multiple dupes of each of them. <laughs> it's freaking pissed me off. Uh, all in one multi summon, that is. Uh, anyway, we're over on the JP side now. So JP side, we have the new trick or treats thing that's going on. Same same time ends at 11:15, so you have some time uh, to grind that out. I would still recommend doing it if you haven't done so already. You get some dragon stones from the rewards, which is pretty cool. Plus, he's an awesome free to play card. Plus, you get this Deborah cookie. The Deborah cookie is pretty awesome. Let's see. It is uh, change key spheres to physical key, and attack plus five percent per physical key sphere obtained. Uh, and it just randomly changes key, so you might want to pair that up with some uh, other key orb manipulating items. Uh, I think that was really meant to be for the Super Vegeta that came out on the JP side, so that might, you know, that'd be pretty awesome to see how hard he hits with that. Um, next one is going to be the new Super Vegeta event, just came out uh, last night. It's available till 1117, so you have a little bit over two weeks to grind that out, about two and a half weeks to grind that out. Um, you also have the uh, uh, Strength Super Vegeta, which is available from the Z-Hard for Stage 1. So all your base form Super Vegitos, guys, they are now all grindable. It's officially confirmed. You can grind them all out. Freaking awesome. Really happy about that. So that way you can get all of them that you need. And I believe they drop as Z-Awake. I'm so happy Bandai started doing that, allowing them to drop as Z-Awake. So that way you don't have to waste your freaking resources like Xenia and Awakening Metals to get them. But... That's awesome. It's added on to the Agility Super Vegito event, so go ahead and grind that out. The guard ain't great in itself, the, the strength one, but the physical one I hear is pretty damn badass. I don't have them. I'm not pulling from them. I'm waiting for the holiday special, so maybe I'll pull something then. Um, next one is going to be the uh, the Broly event, the same one that I just spoke to you about on the global side. That runs until 11.07. Um, this is the one with the, you got the Videl, the Goku, Gohan, and Goten, the Doken Waken, and that Shamo. 
uh, whatever it is, his name is, uh, uh, item. So that runs until 11.07. You have about a little bit, about six days left until that ends. Uh, you have the Bardock event, which ends on 11.07 as well, which ends in six more days. This event, you get uh, the Awakening Medals for your Grade 8 Bardock, your Grade 8 Vasha, uh, and there's, oh yeah, just these four grindable, and they all kind of suck. It's not worth it. It used to be worth it back in the day. Uh, I remember trying to grind out that freaking, uh, I believe it was the Frieza that I was trying to grind out to get him because he only appeared every once in a while. Uh, or no, it was the Vegeta that only appeared once in a while. Either way, one of them only appeared every once in a while. I tried grinding it out. I got up with, like Super Attack 4, and I utilized him for the longest time. Yes, we utilized free-to-play SR cards back in those days, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, this event runs until 11.07, so you have six more days to grind that out. If you haven't done so, I just recommend going for these two medals. Um, the next one, oh, well, we have three more over here. Uh, so this is, we're going to jump onto this one because it's uh, dying on me. This is for the 1,000 day banner. This is running until 11.10. I believe the mission rewards end tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day you can get the mission reward. Um, I do have, I think, I think we get one more day of those. So regardless, I'll be recording tomorrow the video with all of the summons. So if you guys want to do some summons with me on that banner, save them. And uh, I'll be putting up a video probably on Thursday or Friday going doing all the summonings for this banner. Uh, so hopefully I can get another 120 lead that I don't already have. In terms of the JP side, I have Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, Gogeta, and Intelligence Kid Buu. Uh, I think those are the only four that I have. I don't have anything else. Uh, this banner, oh yeah, this is the other banner, this the Super uh, Vegeta banner that just came out. It's available till 11.17, so you can go ahead and grab them if you want. I don't know, oh yeah, well, I guess Kid Buu would make sense because it is part of the Majin Buu arc. These three are all Majin Buu arc, and they're, he's a Majin Buu arc lead. Uh, and then last but not least, we have the uh, speed or uh, agility attribute banner that's currently available to 11.07 as well. Go ahead and pull on that if you want to get either of these two. These are the only two cards that are kind of worth it. Again, I don't really recommend pulling on those banners unless you're actually like a hardcore gamer or a hardcore Dokkan player. I don't know if really say gamer, I don't know. I guess some, some gamers get upset when you say you're a gamer when you just play mobile games. <laughs> But um, anyway, guys, uh, that's it. That's all the events that are currently available. Um, go ahead and grind them all out. Let me know if I missed anything down in the comments below. I uh, expect a, a summoning video from me tomorrow, and then another one for the JP side from all those free tickets uh, the following day or that night. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.